Hi, I'm John Storms, and I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on the Falcon F16 V3. So, uh, it's a good idea to do a backup of your configuration before you start, and you can reapply it when you're done. Uh, but that's uh, that would be a different video. So, first thing I'm going to do is you need to go online and download a few things. All right, so you need to go get a couple of files. So we go to David Pitts' website. So we just do a search on Pixel Controllers. Uh, let's see, Lightarama, Pixel Controller, LLC. That's the one you want. You go to Support, select the, oops, Support, F16 V3 Pixel Controller, how to upgrade from 2.x current firmware. So select current firmware, it downloads a file for you. When it's done, you open it up. And then you have a couple of files. So this is the bootloader, okay? Uh, of course, you have the instructions. These are very important. If you follow these, it will work. Uh, so you have the instructions, you have the bootloader, which it is talking about here in this first section, and then you have the actual upgrade image, which it is talking about in this section. Um, and you need to put these files onto a um, SD card with that has a FAT32 file system that is uh, 32 gig or less. And I believe you can do it on the same card. I put it on two separate cards, not a big deal. So on this micro SD card, this one, this is a 32 gig card, that kind of overkill, but it's what they had at CVS. I got little, my little micro SD card. So I'm going to do, so I'm going to take it, and I'm going to power it down first. Power it down, and then the, right here on top, next to this USB jack, is the SD interface. So you see the little gold ends of the card? I'm going to have those going towards the OLED screen, and just push it down until it's in all the way, not too hard. Then I'm going to power on the board. So the LED screen is saying bootloader. Now it says loading FPGA. And what this is doing is this is uh, loading a bootloader. And it says that we only have to do this once. I'm following the instructions that came with the file. Okay, so now what I do is it says remove SD card, power off, then back on. The instructions say the exact same thing. So, you know, usually I like powering it off before I remove cards, but it says expressly leave it on. So I'm going to leave it on. I'm removing the SD card. I need some leverage. All right, so I have the SD card. And then I power off. Going to let it power down all the way while it's down now. Put this guy back in his protective sleeve. And again, this SD card had the bootloader updater version 1.0, right? And I, so I, I marked it as such in case I ever need it again. And then I created a second one that actually has the, uh, the updated firmware. So it's powered off, power it back on. It says updater, successfully, successful update. And now it says load the FA2 firmware in the future. Okay, so now I'm ready to updo, update the firmware. Now, according to the instructions, this first, you know, uploading the boot, updating the bootloader, I only had to do that once. So I think in the future, if I need to update the firmware, I just put in the card. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this one is the one that has the file for the firmware update. Okay, and I got this off of the uh, Pixel Controller LLC website as well. So this has a .fl2 file, and this is version 2.55, which is the, the most current version. So I'm going to take this card, 
and it says place the FL2 file micro SD card in the slot again with the gold sides pointed to the little screen slide them in and then it says power down power back up so I'm going to turn it off I like to let things turn off all the way make sure the electrons stop holding hands now we turn it back on bootloader b2 erasing flash and it will say this for a while So I'm doing this because I had a my uh, my controller started getting real flaky. So for whatever reason, it was very very slow on the uh, on the network. It was working fine. I swapped the cables around. I checked the cables with a tester. Moved every you know swapped out the Ethernet ports with a known good one. Still couldn't figure out what was slow. Uh, brought the controller inside. It was still slow. So I figured I just wipe its mind. So now it says loading. 3 of 6, 4 of 6, so now it's actually loading the new images. And uh, if this is like any other embedded system, the last thing you want to do is cut the power while you're doing this. You could potentially uh, brick the system. I don't know if it would brick this, but uh, you would at least have to start over. Okay, so it says remove SD card, power off then on. And if I refer to the instructions, it says remove card when finished and then power down and back up. So I'm going to take the card out. Set it right there. Power off. Gonna, while that's powering off, I'm going to place this guy to his little sleeve. And then put that card back right there. And then save that. Now I'm going to power it back on. Booting controller. Falcon Christmas. And we're up. And the version says 2.55. So we have successfully updated the firmware. Now just for grins, I'm going to turn it off again. And I'm going to do a factory reset. Holding down the select button, powering on, it says bootloader v2, resetting controller, booting controller, Falcon Christmas, and we're up. Okay, so we have the new firmware in place, and I'm just watching it here for a second to see if it boots. No, I'm up to six, seven. Now, if you had saved off your config to a file on your computer, you could now go in and access it through the web interface and uh, put it on there. Well, actually, one little thing. You do have to go in and set the IP address. So I'm just going to hit one of the arrows over, hit select for network, and then I don't like DHCP, so I'm going to hit select, go down to static, hit select again, go down to IP, hit select, and now I'm going to set the IP address to 10.0.0.14. Select, select. Oops. And then I hit one of the left or right arrow button to save. Hit enter, save and reboot. Rebooting controller. It's gone. It's coming back. Booting controller. Falcon Christmas. It's back up. Now it says all zeros. We'll give it a second here. Uptime is still at zero. It's not really here yet. And it's back. And it says IP address 10.0.0.14. Now I could go in with the, uh, the PC, connect to 10.0.0.14, and reapply my saved configuration. That's how you update the firmware on a Falcon F16 V3 Pixel controller.